On the shores of Laguna Negra in the Chilean Andes, a group of scientists from NASA and the SETI Institute are preparing for future missions to the lakes and seas of other planets in our solar system. I'm Eric Wartenweiler Smith, and I work for Aqua Survey. When I got invited to join this expedition, I said yes. My job would be to map the bottom of the lake with a bathymetric survey. We're at high altitudes, over 8,000 feet. To go out on the lake, you had to be very prepared for a sudden weather change. I had to go with all the camping gear necessary to spend the night because nobody else would be able to set out in those conditions to come and help me, so I'd have to stay there. The Lake Lander is a prototype for a new kind of spacecraft that instead of landing on the hard surface of another planet or moon, it can land on lakes and seas. It's a prototype, but with all of the instrumentation and technology that will go into the planned future rover. It was designed by roboticists from NASA's Intelligent Robotics Group. Laguna Negra was chosen because there's climate change happening very rapidly there, especially deglaciation. The glaciers, which were once vast, are disappearing more rapidly there than anywhere else on Earth. The ecosystems near the glacier had to adapt and overcome these changes. The principal investigator for this project is Dr. Natalie Cabral of the SETI Institute. She's an astrobiologist and planetary geologist. She has great passion for the high lakes of the Andes and especially the extremophiles that live there. Extremophiles include microbes that are able to eke out an existence in very extreme environments. The fact that they could uh, find a place to live and thrive in harsh environments like those in the Chilean Andes helps her design a program for looking for the possible origins of life in other extreme environments uh, on other planets. To be able to watch their adaptation strategies is very important for the scientists behind this program. Why do people explore? This is one of the great questions that I want to know the answer to. And I think that we explore because we want to bring back something of value to our community that will be for the greater good. Now, Natalie Cabral disagrees. She thinks it's a fundamental nature of life, of life itself. and. Um, that if the first microbe that existed or the first simplest form of life had not sought to expand its territory, then we wouldn't have complex life the, the way we have it. If you think about where we'll be exploring in the future, in, in just in the next 20 or 30 years, it, it really opens up some fascinating opportunities. I'm Eric Wartenweiler Smith. I'm fascinated by scientific exploration, and I'm excited to know where it's going to take us next.